Hey, welcome to Play Infinite. And this is a brief video about the first boot of the iPod Touch. And if you haven't already, please make sure to check out our the iPod Touch 4th generation 8GB model uh, unboxing. And I will post uh, annotation on this video right about now. So just uh, click on that if you haven't watched it already. And please make sure to subscribe to us because we are a relatively new channel and we are, we're already posting many unboxing videos and there's many more to come. And I should also mention that this is actually uh, recorded from my MacBook Pro 13 inch. And if you haven't seen the review, I mean, sorry, the unboxing for that, just click uh, the annotation right about now. And I will be posting many more videos about the MacBook Pro and this iPod Touch in the coming days. Okay, so now let's just get right down to it. Just sit back and relax. Okay, so let's get right on to it. Okay, so this should be clear enough. I'm trying to get that glare out of the screen. Okay, so I'm just going to click this power button over here to start it. Power slash lock screen button. And this is actually the first boot, so I didn't start it before. I'm sure you can see the reflection of my MacBook in the background over there. I mean, on the screen of the iPod. Oh, you can even see the iPod on the reflection on the Mac. Okay, that's odd. Yeah, this looks like it's going to take a while. So I will be fast forwarding some parts of this video. Like, for example, not this part, obviously. But if it does take a while, I will fast forward it. Okay, so now it's, I'm guessing it said unlock the screen in many different languages. It's just saying random different languages. Or, sorry, configure. Okay, so let's just slide that open like you regularly slide it. Okay. So we are not British, so we're going to choose regular English. Not British English. It was, I don't know, I'm not sure why, but it was defaulted to British English. Sorry if you can see there. So I'm, I'm just going to click this next button over here. Okay, so now it's asking to select a country or region. Oh, sorry. Okay. And obviously, we're not in United Kingdom. I'm not sure why it's actually configured for United Kingdom as default. Just hold on one second. Okay. So now it's asking for location services. It's asking if you want, sorry, if you want to enable location services or disable it. We're actually just going to keep it disabled for now because we can easily enable that again in the lock screen. And next. Okay, so now it's just a little pop-up is coming. So it says maps and other apps will be unable to use your approximate location. You can turn on you can turn on location services in settings. Okay, that's what I just said. And choose Wi-Fi. Um, we're just gonna choose my temporary Wi-Fi right now. Just hold on one second. I'm gonna fast forward through. Okay, so I just entered my password and I'm waiting for this to connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so it has connected. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the best angle. Okay, I guess this is actually the best one so far. Okay, so it connected. So now I'm just going to click next. So if you didn't have a Wi-Fi network available like that, because I that was actually pretty un unexpected too, but my Wi-Fi network is running all the time. I actually have two, one for my tablet, which is tethered right now. Um, so if you didn't have it, uh, a little icon just popped up there saying connect to iTunes. So if you didn't have it, you would just connect that to iTunes. So now I'm just going to click next since I'm already connected to Wi-Fi. And now it's saying activating your iPod. Uh, and it says it may take... Uh, up to three minutes to activate your iPod Touch. So I'm gonna forward this part obviously. Okay, so this actually just started. So now it says set up iPod Touch. And just hold on one second. 
It says set up as new iPod Touch, restore from iCloud backup, restore from iTunes backup. So since we don't, we don't have any of this backed up, we're just going to set up new iPod Touch. Okay, so now it's asking for the Apple ID and I will forward past this. So basically right now, if you have an iPod, Apple ID already, you just sign in with it. If you don't, you click that and create an iPod. So we're actually, we have an Apple ID already, but we're just going to create another Apple ID. Why not? So just hold on one second and I will fast forward through this part too. Able to create an Apple ID. It was actually because of a server error. Uh, so I'm not sure why, but I'm not going to waste time fixing that right now. So I'm just, it says over here, skip this step. I'm sure you can see that. So I'm just going to click that for now. You can do this from the settings anytime. And that's basically what this message is going to tell you. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, click skip. So I'll just say this right now. So it says, are you sure? And then it says, you must have an Apple ID to use the Apple st app store, iTunes store, iCloud, and other services. Creating one is free and easy. Okay. I'm just going to skip it for now because we could do this later. Okay, so now these are the TOS, the terms of, sorry, TOC, the terms of condition. I'm sure you don't want to read this. It's actually fairly long. Okay, so now there's a disagree button over here. Mm -hmm. Still getting used to this. Okay, so there's a disagree button over here and it says agree over here. So we're going to click agree, but if you disagree to it, just feel free to click disagree, but I'm pretty sure it won't let you continue to set a process if you do click disagree. Okay, so now it's just asking again, agree or cancel. I'm agreeing, of course. Okay, so now it's just uh, diagnostics uh, data. So this will, it's asking if I want to automatically send it or don't send it. I'm just going to select automatically send because it's, it's going to run on Wi-Fi too and it won't really affect me. It's not going to waste data. And next. Okay, so now it says, thank you. Your iPod is now set up. You are ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever. Okay, so we'll see about that in our review of the iPod Touch, of course. And also, please make sure to watch out for that video if you like. Now, just start using iPod Touch. And that's what it says over there. Just going to touch that. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out a bit. Okay, so this is the iPod Touch iOS, the main menu, home screen. You just slide it. It's basic. And if you like, if we get enough people that actually want us to make a video about the software itself in itself, I mean, sorry, the software only video, uh, we will do that if there are people that actually want us to do that. But basically, this is just a regular iPod Touch or iPhone or a smaller version of the iPad UI. Okay, so there's just icons and if you like, we will go through this. Okay, so this is a uh, quick or not quick, but I guess detailed uh, first boot up of the iPod Touch fourth generation, eight gigabyte. And please uh, subscribe and comment, rate, and also, please leave us uh, feedback because feedback is actually really appreciated because we are a new channel. Uh, and yes, we will be doing many reviews of this iPod Touch and impressions of it. And if you like the software, we'll also do a review or we'll go through the software of that for you. And also about the Mac, we will be talking. We have a lot of videos to come for the Mac. It's actually still in progress of being recorded. And we are working to do that as possible because the Mac videos are going to uh, be everything from software to hardware. And we have many more unboxing videos to come. So just please make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. Thank you. And please subscribe to Play Infinite.